Hello folks, welcome back. So in our previous tutorial, we have installed Java and also we have set our path variable and we were able to install successfully Java 8. Now the next thing that we need is an IDE. What is an IDE? IDE is like an editor that you can write your Java programs and it is very helpful because on the fly itself, you will be able to figure out your errors, etc. So that editor is very helpful. So the there are different different editors that are available like NetBeans, Eclipse. The most common one and the most popular one and then the one that I like is Eclipse. So we're going to go ahead and install an Eclipse IDE here. So you go to your Google and just type in Eclipse. Download. So most probably the link that will pop up will be the... So now this is the page that gets popped up, Eclipse Download. So click on that Eclipse Download. There is an IDE for Java developers, there is an IDE for Java EE developers. So if you want to do some web applications, you need to have Java EE. If you don't want to do web applications, if you just want to do standalone applications, you can. You will be good with the Java developers one. But it's always a good idea to install this one. And it's 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and install this 64-bit one. So now you can see here, there is a download link here. So you can click on that download link and you can go ahead and install the 64-bit one. So, or you can click on this. So it's getting downloaded. I'm getting a message here. So this is the one. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. So if you see here on the left hand side, you're going to see this Eclipse getting downloaded. So we'll just wait for a couple more minutes to let it get installed. This is going to be a zip version. So you also need a zip or unzip to un unzip this. So if you don't have, you can always install 7-zip. It's, it's a free tool available. So you need that. So I have already unzipped my Eclipse here. So this is what you're going to go ahead and see. This is going to be a folder here called Eclipse. And in the Eclipse, you're going to go ahead and see this. Now, once you so you see this Eclipse application, so double click on the application. But before you do that, you need to create a workspace. Workspace is basically the place where you're going to go ahead. All your programs will be uh, will be written down. So let's we want to go ahead and create a workspace. So I can go to the same users. There is a directory. I can create a workspace here named as Udemy workspace. And inside of this Udemy workspace, let me have a folder name, workspace. So this is my workspace. So all my programs will be written down here. So here I have Eclipse. So let me go to the Eclipse. And this is the place. You can always create a shortcut. So you can always go ahead and create a shortcut here. Double click this. And you can create, you double click this, it'll ask you for your workspace. So you can point to the workspace that you have just created. So it's a Luna Eclipse, different, different kinds of. So this is my Eclipse. So just waiting a couple seconds, it'll take to open. So it's, as, it's pointing to some other workspace. So I can point to the workspace that I created. So you browse to this and you can go to the page that you just have. So it's under the C drive. Udemy workspace and in the Udemy workspace this is the folder so this is how you're going to go ahead and open it so this is going to take a while to open So once you open that, this is the place that you see. So you have, you can get an overview of these other tutorials, etc. You don't have to worry about these. So this is the place that you can go ahead and close this whole page. So this is what it's going to look like. So now we can go ahead and create a simple project here. So you can go ahead and say new. And then on this right hand side, it will show you all the projects that you can create. So right now I wanted to create a simple Java project. So I'm going to say Java project and let's say next once you click on next it's going to take you is asking you for what's the name of your project so i'll say demo project and this is the you don't have to do anything it'll by default it'll pick up 1.8 because that's the one that you have installed and click next 
and this is what it is and then finish so now it has created it'll ask you for you do you want to do open java perspective i don't want so you can just say demo project so now this is open a demo project for you and now we'll talk about what is java in a, from our next tutorial so i hope you were able to install java and eclipse if you have any questions please message me i'll always get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much